Hey guys, look what I got. That's right, I got this Hexbug Aquabot Robot Seahorse. This swims in water, and I'm going to demonstrate that a little bit later in the video. But right now, we're going to take this out of the package and have a closer look. Alright guys, so before I open the package here, I want to show you that this comes with two spare batteries. And they are located right on the bottom here. Alright, so hopefully you find that handy. Now, we're going to open this thing up. Alright, here is this piece right here. And there's the button to turn it on. And I see it flashing, but this has to be in water for it to work. Let me see if I push the other side, maybe that will shut it off. One of the first things I notice here is that this little tail is nice, soft silicone. Same thing. Oh, I just touched that. It started going. Weird. All right, so this fin is also nice silicone. So that is good to know. Another thing I want to point out is that let's, well, let's open the bottom part here. Let's get a little crazy with Uncle Ryan. Let's open this bottom part here. If this will come off, that would be pretty cool. This is taped up real nicely. Maybe I can pull it out the top. Nope. Here, this is coming out finally. And and while this is really kind of thin plastic, you could technically put this on the bottom of a fish tank or something like that if you really wanted to. Let's take off this tape. Let's get it all nice and ready for what we're gonna do coming up next. All right, so we've got this, we've got this, and we've got our spare batteries. Do not throw these away, guys. You wanna keep those handy. And coming up next, I am going to put this in water, and we're gonna see this thing swim. All right, guys, we're gonna let this thing rip. So I'm gonna push this button right there turn it on and let's watch it go All right, so my initial observations are that this thing, it definitely swims. It wants to hang out towards the top. And it's not that fast. It's really not terribly exciting. And it looks like it's already slowing down. Oh, no, then it picked up speed a little bit. I'm gonna push it down. See if that changes things at all. Nope, it's just putting along, doing his thing. And one of the things that apparently you can get it to, to wake up is to tap the glass or tap the sides. There's some sensors on it that not only does the water help wake it up, but uh, tapping on glass or whatever helps trigger something within, helps trigger something within the seahorse itself. All right, guys, let's try another camera angle. We're gonna come right back with another camera angle. All right, so here is another angle. 
that we're gonna watch this swim around in. Get this thing going. Drop it in the water. Hopefully you can see it a little bit better this way. Now this thing isn't very fast. And it's not terribly exciting. And that's okay because we have some special guests coming up to join the little seahorse in the water. And of course, they are the Wahoos. And yeah, these things are fast in comparison. Almost too fast in comparison. They're thrashing and splashing. This is a lot of fun, guys. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this thing up by saying that the seahorse is a little bit of a letdown. It's not terribly fast and exciting. Now, if you are young and you don't require something very dynamic to entertain you, like a little toddler, it might be fun. However, compared to something like the Hexbug Wahoos, it's not even in the same ballpark as you can see. So, I'm definitely gonna say I'm lukewarm on the, the seahorse here. It's not really working 100% consistently. It'll swim for a little bit and then it'll stop. And it's obviously super slow even when it does work. So, Uncle Ryan's not gonna recommend the seahorse. It looks cool, and in theory, it's it's kind of a cool idea, but it doesn't sink down to the bottom, kind of stays at the top, and overall, it's pretty boring. So, Uncle Ryan is not going to recommend it. With that being said, like, comment, and subscribe, and Uncle Ryan is signing off.